Morning, everyone, and welcome to the Maroon and Gray Saturday Show. Welcome to the 11th edition of the Maroon and Gray Saturday Show. We had a huge week in uh, Warrior and Warrior at Athletics, and I've uh, got some really cool. I got a big, got a big group of guests here today. Uh, for we're going to be discussing some archery, and uh, we didn't want to have them on for for a minute. We thought we were going to have them on last Saturday. That didn't work out last Saturday. Things happen like that. And now we got them on this week. Uh, we'll talk a little about football here a little bit. The uh, had the season finale last night for them. They played an amazing game. The crowd was there. It was just a really good night for. Uh, it was a disappointing end, but man, what a season! Man, what a great night for uh, for White County football, and it was just an amazing run. But uh, either way, our first guest here today, we've got the Archer team. Now, again, the high schools I've been to, we've not had archery, but not only do we have archery, we've had it. Huge success in archery. So let, let's get some of these names down here. I've got to make sure I get everybody right here. All right, now we've got Kyle Heron right here. We've got Julia Judd. Look at that. All right, we got Brian Steele and Miss Nikki Steele, right? I got it right. All right, good. We were worried about that. I had a little prep there on the show here. I'll make sure I got everybody's name right. Well, welcome. Now, let's see here. Now, tell, let's tell everybody who you are as to the program. You're the coach of? I'm the coach of the middle school team. Uh, we got about 30 some odd students this year. 30 students. And it hurt us, but all of us were like that. We had high numbers this year of interest and you know, it kind of hurt us to have to make cuts, but right. uh, we have to do what we have to do to survive. Yes, sir, I understand for sure, absolutely. We've got 30, about 30 coming up strong, I think. Now, it's gonna take some time, but. Well, absolutely, but not. They're, they're wanting. To learn, so we're willing to put it out there for them. There you go. Okay. All right, coach. Nikki Steele, I'm the coach of the high, head coach of the high school. Okay, head high school coach. All right, sounds good. Now, now I'm Kyle here, and I'm the head coach of the elementary team. Okay. Elementary. And the elementary team. This is the second year we've had elementary. Okay. So we just a new program. We just started. Uh, Mickey and Brian come to me and asked if I wouldn't care to help them with it, and I said sure. Uh, I've got three daughters myself, and they're all in archery. So uh, I said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll take it." And uh, it, it's been great. Uh, we've had uh, we had sixty tryout this year in elementary, I believe, wow. and I've got thirty on my team as well. So, wow. yeah. And uh, last year we had uh, we had uh, eight eight uh, fourth graders that transitioned up to stayed on the team. Okay. Uh, they're fifth graders this year, so it's fourth and fifth grade only. Fourth and fifth grade. So, so fourth and fifth grade for you, mm -hmm. and then in middle school would be six through eight. Yes, sir. And then high school would be nine through ten. Okay, nine and then twelve. Nine through twelve, obviously. Yeah. Nine through twelve. Yes. <laughs> and uh, one of those uh, high school students is here. So we got Julia. Now, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a senior this year. Okay. Now, how many years have you? Have, well, let's get some terminology in here first. <laughs> so I almost tried to say how many years have you archery? That's not a word. Man. <laughs> what kind of word is this? Right? No, no. How many years have you? Uh, been shot. A, shot. How many, <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. That's the word right there. I, I'm learning here with this. So, how many years have you shot? My whole high school career. So. Um, my, did you yeah. junior high or was the team? Well, um, junior high, like we, I didn't do the middle school team, but I did shoot for 4-H. Okay. And so after that, I got in high school, and I was like, I really need something to do. Like, where can I fit in? And so um, I tried out for archery, and I've just done it ever since. Loved it. There you go. Now, I will tell you, I, the only experience I have in archery, the only experience I have in archery, I took an archery class at UT Martin, and I loved it. Uh, it was one of those courses that I took. Yeah, I was – Taking Spanish, taking philosophy, all these other classes I was taking, I was like, I'd like to get like a maybe a PE credit, try it out. You know, I did I did tennis one semester, I did ping pong, and then I, I tried archery, and I I fell in love. I was like, this is really fun. I mean, I, I learned how to get my arm up right and all the different forms, and it was such a fun class. We uh, we had these big I think hay bales things you shoot at, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And it had the little steel ending and the big long uh, bows like that so I've had a little experience that just getting to, to try it out and, but, I've, uh, but I've never seen it at the high school that was just more of a a recreational level so take us through first and foremost what does an archery competition look like uh, well <laughs> it just depends I guess on where the archery tournament is okay. um, so here locally, you know, we travel, of course we have three ourselves. We're starting a new one this 
first weekend in December will be our first elementary hosted tournament. Okay. So the kids shoot. Is it 20 arrows? Because you have five points. So 20 arrows at 10 meters, 20 arrows at 15 meters. So, and then it's with a possible score of 300. Okay. So, and then you have a, you can shoot a team of 24. Okay. Um, that count, and then the other ones are just individuals or such. So the top 12 shooters count as your team score. Okay. So, that's, you just go from there as far as, and then of course the team, the actual team that's considered as your top 12 has to be four of the opposite gender, whether it be eight boys, four girls, eight girls, four boys, whatever, that's what, that's what the NASP rules. Now is, so, is it, is it supposed to be always, is it co-ed or is it men's it, with women in it or? It has to be co-ed. It has to be co-ed, co okay. Yes. So let's say you were at a high school X high school somewhere, and you didn't have any girls, you should not be allowed to compete. How, how, would, how would that work? They could compete, but they would be considered individuals. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. The so, only way you could be an all male or all female team would be like a private school okay. that is specifically gender for female or male. Gotcha. I understand. That's how the rules are listed. So. Now, you said that there was two different distances they shoot from, correct? Yes. And they shoot. 20 shots at each one? Yes. So they have a total of 40 shots? Yes. During during the, the one competition. Do they do all those shots at one time, or is there a break up? There's a break. There is a, it starts with five arrows as your practice your practice round. Okay. Um, and then five arrows go pull your score and pull. Okay. With a possibility of 50 points okay. each round, each five arrows. Okay, yeah, okay, there yeah. you go. So. Okay, makes sense. Now, do you do all that with one distance, and then you like step off and then do all that with another distance the same yes, way? They, they bring their what we call quivers, which is what their arrows go in, gotcha. and they bring it back to the fifteen meters. Gotcha. And shoot the fifteen meters from there. Gotcha. Okay, there you go. So, um, let's see with that. Now, do they all go at one time? Is there like are they, like let's let's say are there. Are, bunch of targets that are all shooting at the same time or do they take turns there are 20 we have 20 targets okay so um it, I, it just depends on well usually we try to shoot all of our you know we keep it under you know the 40 which because there's two per target right so you can everybody will shoot the, the team will shoot at once so the high school team would shoot at a flight time okay. and the middle school team would be at another flight time and the elementary would be another flight time okay okay so. now on the actual target how how is that scored you either hit the middle or no or is it, it well, what, what, what's the what, i'll wait julia take this one yes for sure yes for sure <laughs> okay. hopefully so yeah hopefully we want you to hit the target right right, right. <laughs> right. of course right Absolutely. Um, so in the center you have 10 so that's what you're aiming for you're, it's like about like this big and then so as each ring goes outwards it it's a lesser number if that makes sense Absolutely. so like you have two yellow rings so you have 10 and 9 and then it goes to red which is 8 and 7 and then it's blue black and white and if you shoot white that's one at a one and zero but yeah just the center is the highest number which is what you're wanting to get and then as it expands it's a lower number Okay, now, interesting question. And by the way, that there is a little bit of news about tennis in White County. I, I, there's a rumor going around I took over tennis, and which that, that is true. <laughs> but I will say this, when I played tennis back in high school, all right, you would have, you might have 10 matches going on at one time at this park. And the thing was, as you were playing, it was kind of an honor system of, you know, like if I called, if you hit the ball, hit the line, I said, hey, hit line. You know, there was sort of an honor system about that. Every once in a while, an argument would come about. Now, my, my question would be, if you've got that many shooters going on, who, what's to, is it, just a, is it a game of honor where you said that was my score, I hit that target, or is there somebody watching it? How does that um, work? So, if you're shooting with somebody, you're going to have a different colored, like, arrows. Okay. So, like, I usually shoot with purple, so my partner has to get a thing of arrows that are, a different color than purple. Okay. So like you know which you know what your score is. Okay. So when you go up there to score on your score part. Okay, so you go up there okay, mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Also so like you mentioned on the line. Yeah. Like say if it's a if it's on between the ten and the nine line and it's right on the line you give the higher score. 
Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. And you just talking about the honor part. There is a lot of honor in that. But if there is a question, a lot of times they can come ask a coach or in a tournament, the game warden will come up and make the final call. So there is a there is like an overrule. And they score each other. Okay. So oh, like, okay. like I would score Julia's arrows, she would score mine, and then we each sign off on that we agree that that's what the score was. So yeah. the two competitors. Yes. Okay, got you. So yeah. So at these tournaments, it's not your team you're shooting with. Like say if me and Julia's on the same team, we're not shooting the same target. It's opposing team. Yeah. So say uh, Cumberland County or Warren County. So Warren County High School has a has a member shooting with Julia, they score each other's. Gotcha. And they have to sign off. She has to score, she has to say, yes, that's what I told you to write down. So that's And she double checks the arrows and they both sign their signature on it. So that's that's correct. So that's how they keep it to accountable. Yeah, okay. it's, that it's a it's a it's a sportsmanlike yes. accountability because you're both right there watching. Because because I was imagining in my head, you know, you could have a, like twenty of the same team and some kid miss. Oh, well, yeah, I hit that one. Or oh, I did the, You know, so that was kind of where I was going. At my, it's hard. It's not hard to imagine, but it's something I haven't gotten to see yet. Right. So, which I will. By the way, I will be when I will be at some competitions this year. Because I just want to sit for myself. Maybe even, uh, if I do any competitions on Saturday, I might just bring the show there one day. Do y'all? All of our competitions are on Saturday. All of them are on Saturday. <laughs> well, hey, listen, I mean, you know, we may have to come out to elementary school. and Because uh, you were telling me earlier that there is a, y'all, well, you were saying just then that there, y'all doing your first ever event at the elementary school? Yes, at, the, at Finley. At Finley. Our, our elementary team will host. And what it means is by hosting is um, that's pretty much our fundraiser for the year. Okay. Um, our, you know, our gate and concessions and such is that's how we bring in our income to buy our jerseys and our equipment and, and so on and so forth. Um, so the elementary team will host the tournament and all other counties will come to us. Okay. Okay. So then, you know, later down the road, Crab Orchard may have one. Okay. And then so everybody goes to Crab Orchard. You know, as far as, you know, you've got Prescott and Parkview and Sycamore. There's several teams in elementary in Cookville, but it's not specific to elementary. It would be, so like the high school would go and shoot at the elementary tournament, or Van Buren County has a high school tournament, so everybody goes to it on that weekend. And gotcha. then Gibble will be another weekend, so all, everybody goes to that one on that weekend, and that's how everybody supports each other. Wonderful. So that's everybody's fundraisers. Well, I think, now what dates that? Um, our first one is December 2nd and 3rd at the New Finley Building. Okay. So we will shoot on December 3rd. Okay. So you have that, you have so many teams that you have to have it on a Friday night and a Saturday. Wow. That's we, we have at the high school, I'll go ahead and dare to say it's probably the biggest one in the Upper Cumberland. Okay. Um, the, Spart the Sparta shootout in March. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we have people come from Murfreesboro from West Tennessee, you know, just to come to support. And we, we have hosted almost 800 archers in a weekend. Whew. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. State, state will host 1,500. 1,500, okay. And so that's half of everybody, you know, that's half of the number that would go to state. So. Right, okay. I, well, I can't wait to, we'll, we'll, we'll have to bring the show out. Yeah, to, I mean, that, that'll be a, absolutely. we'll have y'all, y'all be on the wall on site, and it'll be kind of a neat thing to do. Plug y'all, then have other other guests come on as well. I'd like it's to do. Not, it's not an exciting sport. <laughs> well, hey, no. I mean, listen. You know, we made it exciting at yeah. our tournaments because yeah. we do a shootout. Yeah, we do a shootout. Okay. You can okay. enter up. You can enter up. Okay. Ten dollars. <laughs> All right, listen. I, if it's and do the adult shootout. Okay. And then okay. You, and then we put you on a ten meter line. You get one arrow. You shoot it, and it has to be. Now we start out let y'all warm up. You know. <laughs> right. Right. You know, but uh, on the elementary up through middle school, high school, they have to hit the pin every time. And when you're when you don't hit the pin, you're out. Okay. So the winner gets a hundred dollars. Last man standing wins hundred bucks. Now I will say, I I, I may do that. I'm, I may jump in there, but, but, but I will say, I, my friends they get nervous when I shoot a bottle at the trash can. So I don't know. Maybe it looks like they're like, oh hey, you know, that might be a yeah. But um, we have that. There you go. You got next. Okay, that'll be great. That'll be great. That might be a great. That that would be uh, might be helpful. Everybody stand back. Is there? I know there was a word we said when I was doing college art, just in the class. There was some word that we would say to make sure that nobody was near any, like it was clear or. 
Is, is there a word that y'all that y'all say to prepare for, make sure there's nobody walking up and grabbing the arrows? Well, we use whistle commands. Whistle commands. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so the whistle commands are, you know, the two whistles are get bow. So okay. the kids will get their bow, go to the line, bows on toes until they hear a single whistle. And a single whistle means shoot. Okay. And then once they've shot their five arrows, they return their bow to the rack go behind the waiting line until everybody is finished. And then we do three whistles, which is go get bow. Okay. Or go get arrows, I'm sorry. And so they go down to the um, targets and get ready to pull their arrows. Okay. And I know that, that's gotta be a, you know, a serious thing. Yeah. Um, you know, cause it is, I mean, there's so many different, I mean, there's archery in the Olympics. There's also shooting and different things like that. But you know, in a scholastic setting, you know, at first that might seem, I mean, there's gotta be a lot of care and precaution taken. Uh, because you know things you know you know can obviously happen, but uh, if you can mitigate that risk yeah. the best you can, and that's the last. There's you know there's always and then there's you know if something unforeseen like that does happen, you know there's a there's a five whistle rule um, as far as you know that means when they hear the five whistles, our little ones say stop what you're doing, dude. <laughs> I love it. Stop what you're doing, dude. I love it. I love that. I love and that. So they they know to stop. Okay. Unquiver, you know, un, unwrap their bow, okay. quiver it, go hang their bow up and stay behind the waiting line until, you know, the danger is, is clear. Gotcha. So, gotcha. And for what it's worth, safety is a huge concern for all, everybody, not just our tournaments Absolutely. and practices, but Absolutely. every event. And safety record is phenomenal. I don't know of anybody that's really gotten hurt so don't far. Don't Jesus, man. Don't Jesus. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Knock on wood here. But ever since we took training, that's that's been the case. That's and, awesome. Of course, we, we check, we go to extra precautions, making sure doors are locked and where there's no entry to where you could even get on the floor. You'd have to in, intentionally make your way on the floor to gotcha. Gotcha. for so something they, to happen. Yeah, the coaches have to go through um, certified training okay. um, in order to, to coach. Okay. So, and and furthermore, you've got people on the line that with whistles that are watching everything. And if something does get out of line, we just practice this at practice mm -hmm. Thursday. We just chuck something in the middle of the floor just so we could blow the whistle and see how they'd react. So gotcha. they're trained, they know what to do, when to do it. There you go. Now, Julia, so you, know, you talk about athletes going through multiple seasons. And you know, a lot of athletes will do one or two seasons of the sport and either they'll quit or they'll try something their junior year. But it's, 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 it's I don't wanna say it's rare, but it's not as common as you would think to have an athlete do a sport four years. Mm -hmm. And when you do have an athlete that's done something four years, they've been through it. They, they've seen the challenges. They've seen the, the schools. Uh, you, you create school rivalries, which is <laughs> – especially with, of course, Cook Vlogs are our main one. But, you know, you, you, you also develop kind of sometimes friendships with other schools because mm -hmm. you, you know that, that other athlete, the other competitor and stuff. What has four years of archery at White County been like for you? What's what's that been like? I've loved it. I loved all four years. Um, my first year shooting, I was actually like really good. So um, that was very. Um, I don't want to say it went to my head, but I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be good. I'm going to stay good. And then the next year, I plummeted. My score went down. Okay. <laughs> so like more slump, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got in my slump, and, you know, I was so fed up by the end of the year. I'm like, I'm just going to quit because I, if I can't shoot, you know, well, what's the point of me, you know, being on the team? And so, but at the end of the year, Mickey was like, hey, you're going to be captain next year. And I was like, <laughs> Wait a minute. So that really took a that really humbled me. Kind of like I reevaluated. You know, this is not honestly. It's not honestly all about like how well you shoot. You know, also like we're a family on our team. Like we, you know, hey, if you need something, you can come to us. And that's our jobs as captain. Um, we make sure everybody's okay, and we like check on each other and stuff. So, um, just. It's just been a great, I've had a great experience with it. Like, I, I just absolutely love it. Like, archery is life. <laughs> there you go, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Well, you know, something, and if I'm not mistaken, I hope I interpret these rules correctly here. The top 12 scores are the ones you take. Mm -hmm. But all those scores count for the, the, the total, correct? Yes. 
but no, just the top 12 count for the team score. Right, right. But they're all counted into a system, yes. Right, but in the point, like, let's say you have 24 archers, or 24. Those 12, those top 12, every single one of those scores counts. Yes. So what the idea behind that, uh, Julie, would be like as follows. There's got to be a, there's probably been a moment over your sophomore, junior, senior, freshman year where you were like, you know what? I have shot really bad today. But if I don't keep going, I might still be the 12th archer. Mm-hmm. The other 12 might have had a really bad day. And if I don't focus right here, right. you know, if I were to lose my cool or to just quit emotionally and just not try, yeah. that could be the difference between winning that match. Yeah, that was just me feeling that that was like in a moment of like selfishness because you know I wanted to you know I wanted to place you know I wanted I wanted to get that medal I wanted to be included in you know our team score or whatever but um, just I just kept going it's like it's okay like well I can fix it and so it's been a slow climb back to the top but I made it I've done it I've, you know pushed through um, I've gotten better so that's really just. Yeah. And that's how, and that's how it should be. But you know, I, I think about the uh, like the, the Houston Oilers. They had that hold on to that rope. You know, like it's fine if you got one person holding on to the rope. But we need somebody else holding on the other side of that rope, right? So you know, again, no matter how good or bad of a day you're having, you've got to keep going and doing. You know, you might be having a great day, and you, you, there's probably a temptation to get a little arrogant or whatever else, and all of a sudden you maybe miss a shot you needed. You know, the rest of those. That team, and the other thing too is, if there's 24 of you, you may think in your head, "Well, I'm having a bad day. I'm probably the 20, or I'm probably the 16." And it turns out, well, no, actually, you were you were number 10, <laughs> and we've got to really use that extra shot of you to you know hit that. So that's it, it's an, it's interesting that it's an individual sport with a team accountability. Your team needs you to compete every shot. And uh, so I'm sure you've been in a lot of moments like that. How many matches do y'all have a year? Or no, I'm sorry, are they are they matches or are they tournaments? Tournaments. Okay. <laughs> How many tournaments do y'all have a year? Uh, I'm gonna say like twelve, around twelve or something like that. We really we have preseason tournaments. Like there's one like starting in November, but January where it really picks up when we start having like our it's our season tournaments. Right. But we might have. Two at most three a month, gotcha. at, until uh, April, okay. and then uh, what? When is state this year? Today is the Friday of fall break, which so is end of March, March thirty first, April first. I can't remember one of those two dates. Gotcha. And so it'll be at, at Miller Coliseum. Miller Coliseum. Yeah. Now, if you want to go see a tournament, that's when you want to go see. Oh God! Okay. Oh, right. Impression on yeah. you. Oh God! Gotcha. Well, I'd like certainly like to see those things. I uh, was talking about bringing the show to White County just because that's that's our event. It's kind of a be a show on the side, right? But uh, now I'd be a, I'd be amiss if I didn't ask about this. We've had some historic happenings in the last year or two, haven't we? Had a was there a state champion involved? Somewhere? We actually, the team holds four four state championships. Yes. So okay. 2014, 2015, then. When I took over head coach, you know, of course there was a year there's a there was a year in between when Malia Johnson had it, okay, um, and she kind of phased out because she took the principalship. So gotcha. 2018 was kind of the end of her. So we 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 got the state title in 2018, and then again in 20. This, so we're the current state champion. Current, so the yeah. defending state champion. <laughs> yes. Now that's for the team, or that is for the high school team. Yes. Okay, high school yes. team. That's amazing. And then one of our male archers. Last year's senior is the the current Tennessee high school champion. Okay. So, okay. Boys division. Yeah, boys division. That's awesome. That is amazing. It comes with a nice bow too. Yeah. Oh, it comes <laughs> with a nice bow. Okay, yeah. well, that's neat. That is really neat. Well, that that's an amazing legacy you've already got to experience. You've had so two of your high school years have already been state championship years. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Now, was that your what what year was, was that your freshman sophomore or your was that your freshman freshman junior year was last year. Was yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> will be freshman junior. Freshman junior year. All right. So this year, the high school <coughs> freshmen were the first middle school team that we put that we established. There so you go. 
So we're gonna we're starting to see the fruition of that now. And so with Kyle's team coming in, Brian will see Brian is seeing this year's sixth graders come from fifth grade. So so they will transition and hopefully by the time they get to us, they know nobody, nobody's gonna touch us. There you go. There you <laughs> that's, go. That's what we're hoping. There you go. That's <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. So have y'all shot any yet this season? No, not this season. Our first one will be on the we'll second, third of December. Yeah. Okay, so that's when that'll that's when that'll so, all. So practices have begun. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so we practice twice a week. Okay. Some of us, some of us want to go and have open gym. So sometimes we go, you know, just as individuals and go there and shoot at the gyms available. So. Gotcha. So y'all do your shooting in the in the, and the, the old Finley gym. Oh, your old Finley gym. Okay. Very okay. very blessed to have the facility that we have. Because we started out in the cafeteria. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, and you, you know, we move equipment every practice. Right. Put it up. Put it, you know, take it down. So, very blessed to have this, you know, the stable environment and our, you know, our success, you know. Absolutely. That has shown, you know, that's, that contributes to that. So. so, are you talking about the gym that's like where the, the board office is now? No. That, yeah. The gym is connected to that. Okay, wow. So that old, so that gym has got all kinds of stories in and of itself. Has new life here with yes. our state champion yes. high school archery team. That is amazing. That is such a cool, cool. And, you know, and it gives also gives the kids a place to say, "This is ours." This is ours. They can take ownership of it and say, "You know, this is our gym. This is." You know, even, even you know, and we do share it, but you know, the kids consider you. Know, this is our, this is our clubhouse. That's right. Yes. <laughs> don't, yes. Don't come in here, tear no, it down. No, I mean, no, exactly. No, it's uh, you know, football has D Harris Field. Yeah. Uh, soccer field's amazing over at the middle school, and uh, of course the gym. But it's cool to have that spot that's yeah. yours. Uh, have y'all ever hung up any banners in that? In that? We haven't yet. No. Okay. Okay. That'll, that'll, that'll have to happen yeah. there soon. We've got tons of trophies we need to do something with. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely, we should. Absolutely. Well, that'll be great. Um, well, that's, I'm so glad to have you guys on here. Please, I hope you guys come on back again. Come on and bring uh, other seniors, other players, or coaches, and uh, love to, just to hear how the season's going, especially when we get get going here. And uh, and like I said, we will have to do a show on site. That'll be a lot of fun. And uh, hey, Thanks for having us. And, you know, anytime, just – I'll send you a flight schedule and you just Fly, I love it. Flight yeah, schedule. That is so flight cool. Schedule. I have just been I, I've been blessed to get to learn so many of these these, these yeah. cool the the you know, and the new parents. It's funny, you know, the new parents, what time do we shoot? I'm like, it's a flight schedule. This is well, our flight. It's our flight, it's a flight time. It's a cool term. So. Right, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But it's uh but getting to learn these different things and get to learn these new these traditions and the and that there's so much that goes into just you get the temptation sometimes of thinking about you know a team or a club. Well, they meet, they do, and they go home. But there, it becomes a family. It becomes a, there are stories, there are experiences you have. I mean, I, I was thinking of this. Just, I was doing a little cowboy math here for a second. If you shoot forty, no, 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 I'm sorry. You shoot forty shots of competition, correct? And if you've done it for three years and you've had around twelve competitions. You've shot hundreds of areas yeah. for White County. Uh, not counting her practice areas. Yeah. Not count, I mean, yeah. probably <laughs> almost reaching, maybe going over a thousand. I mean, I mean, you could oh, you could yeah. say if you played for four oh, years, yeah. if you shot for four years, um, thousands of shots, mm -hmm. and some of them are good, some of them are not good. Uh, but that's a lot of experience, and there's stories behind that. I mean, that's uh, you know, we don't play in sports or be involved in clubs in a vacuum. That there, there's, a, there's a story going behind all those things, right? Uh, maybe you had a bad math test the day before. Maybe you had a great math test the day before. <laughs> maybe your friends are doing this. And I'm sure in archery, there are moments where you have to say, you know what, I've had a bad week, but I've got to compete right now. Right. And you have to put all that out and uh, control and your breathing. Yeah, and it's really, we, we do that, but like also before our tournaments, we pray. So, okay. Like that really helps our nerves. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And so you know, I it's like, hey, okay, I know this week has maybe sucked, but I'm gonna set that aside right now and do my best. And usually, that in itself is such a like, like a big help with helping, like being calm and being able to like go through the motions during the tournament, being able to shoot. 
yeah, funny, funny story about about having, you know, the kids will say, hey, let's pray. Um, and I usually ask one of the kids, you know, who wants to say prayer? And so we were, we had finished prayer one time and we heard someone, one of the other kids uh, from an opposing, you know, another team come by and say, well, no wonder they win everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Well, it's kind of, to me, uh, it's, it, it's a beautiful analogy. That's, that's all like life's going to be. You're going to have your life going on and then you're going to have what you need to do right then for yourself and for others. And, uh, and it's always good to get a moment of clarity with the Lord right there before you get going that because uh, we, we, we tend to think that um, we do jobs in a vacuum, but we don't. We do them in a life, right? But uh, being able to be there for each other and... Uh, and all having that moment of clarity of the Lord is uh, it's a beautiful thing. So, uh, and it'd be an experience you keep the rest of your life and get to tell the stories about and stuff. And that'd be so neat. So, I can't wait to hear more of these stories. So, either way, okay, make sure I get this right again. Kyle, yep. Brian, Mickey, and Julia. Yep. Thank you guys for coming on the show today. And uh, and please feel free to come back anytime. Absolutely. And we'll be keeping up. And even if you don't on the show, if you will text me your scores. We'll mention them on the show. Here. Absolutely. So, uh, War Your Country out there, we'll definitely know about you guys. So, awesome. either way, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, absolutely. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, for thank sure. You. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, that's our that's our archery team here today. So, uh, had a great time with everybody. And, uh, look, we're going to, next we're going to have football come on the show here. So, uh, I appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, y'all. Well, sounds good. All right, uh, so, uh, the uh, finale part of the uh, show today, or the, uh, had a huge football game last night. Um, didn't quite fall the way we uh, way we wanted, but what an amazing season we have! And uh, I think we've got this trip. Yeah, we got trip in there. So uh, we got trip going here. Is Christian in there? Okay, we got trip in here. And, uh, I'm gonna move this around here. I'm gonna move it right here. All right, trip. Good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. So uh, now. Let's see. So we got Trip uh, Trip Pinion in here. Uh, he actually a second member or a second uh, appearance on the show on the Maroon and Gray Series show. You're actually on one of our very first episodes. I think, I think it was episode three, and here we are at, at episode eleven. So, uh, Trip, I want to say first and foremost, uh, for those of you who didn't know, uh, the Warriors did fall last night in the second round of the TWS of the Delay football playoffs. Uh, I think it was fifty six to thirty six. Uh, hard fought game and uh, just an amazing back and forth game. And before we go any further, I mean, Trip, it has been an absolute just honor watching you guys. You guys have played amazing um, highs, lows, persevering through different things. I mean, many a other team that went through what y'all went through with the gauntlet of the teams you played. With the injuries, with the the, the the breaks that didn't go your way, the calls that were made, a weaker team would have never made it this far. And y'all have made us so proud. I mean, I, you look on Facebook, people are, have been proud of y'all, proud of y'all all season long. And it's interesting. At first, there was great game against Livingston or great game against this, and, and that's fine. That that's going to happen. But then, just it like it just swelled. I mean, it has been amazing to watch this community come out and to support you guys. And I mean, y'all y'all have earned that. I mean, y'all have y'all have stolen the hearts of this, of this this community. So it's been amazing. Um, so let's take it through last night. We were heading to Nolensville. They're the number two team in the state of Tennessee for five A, I believe. And uh, the Nolensville Knights. Uh, we get out there, and um, you know, playoff lights are big. They're real, they're, they're real big. What was that? Take us to that first round. I know the first round didn't quite go the way we wanted to. Yeah, um, the first drive, you know, everyone a little nervous. You know, they've they've been in that spot a couple more times than we have, and we, you know, first couple of plays we drove it a little bit, and you know, just Malachi broke one, and some guy catches it from behind and pokes it out. I mean, it, it happens. It happens. It does happen. It does happen. Uh, there was a couple of turnovers last night like that, and. Uh, but you don't, you don't expect that to happen. And, you know, that's got to be hard, you know, like, you know, because Malachi, you know, great player, great running back, I mean, clearly one of the most successful running backs in our football history. But, you know, that's got to be a hard moment for him. Man, I fumbled the ball, but I thought like you guys just said, hey, it's okay. We're going to, you know, it can be lonely to have to, to be that person that fumbled, but to have a group of guys like you guys just, 
you know, say, hey, that's fine, kick it out, we're going to be all right. That's huge, you know. So, um, now they scored first, so it was 7 nothing, and then I think they scored us. So we had the fumble, they scored, and then they scored, at one point it was 14 nothing. correct? Is that correct? Now, how did, what was the series there? You, we got the ball first, we fumbled, and then they scored, and then we got to a fourth and four situation, and we, we were going to, like, it was fourth and four, so we were trying to draw them offside, and so we weren't supposed to snap it. Yeah, right, the freeze play. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just miscommunication, and it got snapped, and they got the ball back, and then they scored again. Okay. Next time they woke up. Then they finally woke up. Well, at, at some point, I think, it, it, it was amazing watching it. You know, I was kind of a little nervous about, well, hmm. You know, it's just going to make other lights too big, or is it just, I mean, because the thing is, if you've, you know, this is the first time I've been to the second round of playoffs oh, yeah. in school history, and teams that have never been there, that, that, those lights get huge, the crowds get big, the referees actually change. They don't, yeah. they stop, it's like the first round, they're going to call everything, they're going to clean it up. Second round, it's like, look, y'all play. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I, if I'm not mistaken, the very first play of the game, uh, you bust like a twelve yard run, yeah. but then you're getting just way late, yeah. out of bounds. I mean, like you were out, and then just wham, right? And we thought for sure late hit, and they threw a flag, and then all of a sudden referee picks it up and so just waves it off. Did you did you personally think it was a late hit, or was I it mean, me personally? Yeah, I thought it was. You know, I'm about three yards out of bounds and get depleted. <laughs> Is what it is, but that is playoff football. That they just oh, yeah. the farther you get, the more it becomes like that and stuff. In fact, there wasn't really, relatively speaking, there wasn't a lot of flags really, no, on no, either no. on either side. I mean, it wasn't like they were, you know, doing more for one or doing more for the other. It's no, just, no. just letting us play, man. Just letting you play. Yeah, and that's that is playoff football. But yeah. um, so, but you know, it was interesting to watch. I'm sitting here wondering. What's going to happen? You know, is this, is this finally where are they? But, you know, I'd seen y'all time and time again just say, you know, no, we're, we're not like that. We're going to make adjustments. We are going to fight. And I just, I knew in my head somewhere they're going to find a way. All of a sudden, bang, touchdown. Uh, I think you were the first one to score. Uh, it was off a, was it? I think it was a five. Malachi broke into about the five yard line and then ran it in from there. Gotcha, gotcha. And then. Very next drive, I think we get a – was it a fumble? Yeah, a fumble. They they were driving it to about R40, and uh, I think it was Darvon Richmond, and he uh, hit the ball out, and we recovered it, took it for a little bit. And the beautiful thing about that play, because I'm up top clipping film, and I'm with, uh, with uh, you know all the coaches up top. The beautiful thing about that play, and I think it's so symbolic of the whole night and the whole season, that receiver that caught the ball was wide open. Oh, shit. But there was some kind of blown coverage, something happened. But it's like, okay, wide open pass, he's got it. But don't quit. Who knows what's going to happen? You know, the guy who missed it could have been like, well, you know, okay, I messed up. But no, I'm going to chase him down, and then I'm going to knock it out. I'm going to get the ball back. And then all of a sudden, y'all are driving, y'all are driving, and uh, we look up, we've scored. It's 14-14. In Knoxville, Tennessee, and you got to think they're thinking. We thought we were going to just knock them out of the ring, mm -hmm. and the, it's almost like watching Apollo and Apollo and uh, Rocky. Apollo just knocks him down. He's like, "Okay, he's done." And then Rocky just gets him back up. We're like, "Oh no!" <laughs> so uh, I mean, to get back even fourteen all was huge. Right. And uh, just and y'all are driving on, driving on. You're, you know, figuring out ways to get stops, and uh, I think I think we gave them the biggest scare of the year oh, because okay. they they realized they're not going away. They're literally they're going to keep punching, and uh, we're going to have to play this game all. I mean, I, you could actually hear it. It's funny because you couldn't hear it on the field, obviously, but you could hear it. Uh, their their fans were furious. <laughs> their fans were furious with us. They were like, we could just stop that one kid or just stop that kid. I'm thinking, it's not that simple. But I mean, yeah. okay, okay, sure, yeah. But, uh, right, if they actually did, uh, they, they kind of played it smart. They actually played, I guess, 
like a couple of high safeties back. Yeah. Just to try – because it's almost like they were like, look, if we play them up close, they're still going to run on us. <laughs> but then they're going to bust it. They almost played a defense to try to say, okay, we're just going to give them the first four yards and then hopefully stop them. Yeah. So, what, now what was that like playing? Because most defenses have just tried to just – Load up real quickly, and uh, what was it like to have to say, "Okay, I'm not going to get my 30 yard," my, mm -hmm. even though you did get a couple of long yeah. runs. But y'all had to play. What was that like having to say instead of a drive being, let's say, five plays, had to put together 10 play drives? Yeah, I mean they had. I mean they had a D tackle who has who can go anywhere he wants. Right. And other than that, I feel like their best two athletes were at safeties. Right. So, and I feel like they. Play. They had a good game plan, and you know we still did our thing. And Absolutely, we everywhere. But having those safeties back there, that definitely held me and Malachi from you know breaking the long ones we usually do. Right. So it was pretty good game plan. Yeah, pretty good. Well, I think that just shows you the amount of respect y'all garnered in the state, though. Um, you know, at, there have been schools y'all. I think y'all gone to schools multiple times, and they they look at you guys, whatever. They're like, so we're gonna stop. We, we can stop this. We can stop that. And uh, we'll just run up there. Or we'll just – we'll spy this guy and this guy. Like, that'll work every single time, right? And uh, I think at that point last night they were like, no, no, we're going to have to back up. <laughs> we're going to have to do something because if not, you know, it's one of the first teams to just finally admit, no, they're who they say they are. <laughs> and uh, so that's – and that's – you see that in the playoffs. Uh, you see that as you – you go further with great coaches. Oh, they were very well coached. Very well coached. But that's the thing. I think great recognizes great. Yeah. And a lot of times, good doesn't recognize great. They just, well, we'll do this. We'll, we'll arrogantly do this and that. But as we've shown all year long, with you being a 1,300-yard rusher and then Malachi being, I think, a 3,000-something yard rusher, uh, no one stopped us yet. We, we didn't get stopped last night. We still put up 36 points on them. And uh, so uh, no one is still a stop. So y'all can decide that no one ever stopped you guys. Right. Just ran out of time and things like that. But, uh, but, and that's what you get with the playoffs. You get, you know, eventually there's a reason why those are the last few teams. There's a reason why we were one of the last few teams. One of the – White Train is one of the last 16 teams in the state in 5A football. Not 3A, 5A football, which we don't have to play in next year. We're going down to 4, which is a good thing. But what was that like for you sophomore year? Here we are, this team, from where they've been. We're in the 5A playoff second. What was that like for you guys? Man, we've been – because, see, I'm kind of old for my grade. So okay. I've been playing with, like, the seniors my whole life. Right. And, you know, it's just something we've always talked about since we've been little, wanting to win the state and go to the playoffs. You know, it's just getting there. It's just like – Realization, just like anything's possible. Man. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's just a great feeling just to be even be there. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I mean, the crowd was there, the band was there, the cheerleaders were there. They were loud. It was incredible, an amazing atmosphere. But it was also an atmosphere of it was almost probably a daunting atmosphere because it was they had a big crowd, we had a big crowd. The lights are huge. They're a big team. One of their players went to signing for USC. Yeah. One of their defensive tackle, defensive ends, something like that, number nine. I mean, that had to have been just a, a whirlwind of emotions. Like, you can look on the field, there's these huge players running around. You're trying to weave through uh, these different players. I mean, I saw you take – both of you and Malachi both take some huge shots last night. Yeah. I mean, sometimes upended. Um, but it wasn't like you could – find daylight and then just run. There was, y'all were always having to just, okay, can I get another yard here? Can I get another yard here? Because you knew that's what y'all needed. You needed 12 yard game, 15 yard game, six yard game, four yard game, 30 yard, you know, you just, but it must have been something special to, in the midst of all that, look to your left or to your right, I guess. And uh, there's White King. Not, there, not, not there's White County fans. There is White County. <laughs> White County was there last night. Uh, that had to have been a special moment for you guys to just sit there and see all that. And then, um, so let's see, halftime score, I believe, was 21 to 28, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And then uh, we go into halftime, down by a touchdown. They get the ball back first. Uh, they scored, I believe, and we made a stop. And we kind of back and forth to there. 
Uh, but then, you know, after all the different things that happened um, later on, uh, I think, I don't remember what drive it was. Uh, maybe it was the first drive after halftime. Is that where you had your fumble? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, first drive. Okay. But then to sit there, okay, we started off rough. You keep going, you keep going, and it's and at one point y'all look up. There is six minutes to go in the game, mm -hmm. and y'all are down by six points. Yeah, I mean after everything, uh, the different fumbles, the different the injuries. We had a lot of guys get banged up last night. Okay. Lineman, uh, you know, uh, Malachi I think got hurt like the first series. We don't know what kind of injuries you got, you know, but but. After all of that and all the hump up, pop and target tanks, that team, the, the number two team in the state of Tennessee is only up by six. Mm -hmm. And they've got to, they know we've got to get first downs or we're going to lose here. Well, if we don't get first downs, we're, we're six minutes to go in the game. And if we don't make some plays, why can't it beat us? Mm -hmm. um, when you got to that moment, what was that like for you guys just in, in that moment? You know, just that moment coming to an end or, like, the season coming to an end. But, I mean, we're down by six, and we're thinking, you know, we got a chance. And we actually had them third and, I believe, like, 11. Third and 11, yeah. Yeah, and we had them for about almost a loss right at the line. And, you know, that's their big D1 guy, and he breaks a tackle and makes a play. That's what he's supposed to do. Yep. And, I mean, he makes it happen. So, I mean, it is what it is. We yeah. still – but I'm just so proud of this team because, you know, even after that and he breaks it with scores, I mean, we still came out the next drive and, you know, did our thing and gave it everything we had. Yep, absolutely. Well, you can see, you know, and how cool was it too. Um, I remember, you know, I think they scored a couple more touchdowns just at the very, very end, um, and we're still driving. We're still making plays. We're still trying to get yardage. And uh, – I remember there was one play they got in the backfield and took Malachi down. He was like, all right, we'll get back up the next play. Keep driving, keep driving. But you know, after the game, I'm walking down the stands and I'm watching you guys shake hands, and y'all are the hell. I mean, is there anywhere else in the world you would have rather been than right there with Coach Frazier and those guys? No, man. Those guys and Coach Frazier, all the coaches, just mean the world to me, man. And just this community has been ridiculous through this season. And, you know – it's just, it's really, it's a great thing to see in Sparta. Gotcha. It's a great thing. Absolutely. And I know it was actually kind of a neat moment, too. Um, they, their, their student section uh, stormed the field after the game. And they're over here doing chants and doing things. What I love, though, is all that's going on. All right. They're excited. We have uh, coach talks. There's hugs, there's tears. I mean, there's a lot of emotion going on. Still, while all that that stuff's going on, you know, walk over there, you salute the band. I mean, at that moment, who cares what they're doing? Mm -hmm. This is White County. Uh, I know that band was tearing up as they're playing. And, I mean, that – to see that contrast is beautiful, I think. To sit there and, like, you know, yes, they support us when we're doing good. But they're still here even when we didn't have it, the night we wanted it. Oh, yeah. And people don't realize literally how much the band means to the football team. And, you know, people say, you know, what, who cares? But coming from me, I mean, they have helped us so much throughout the season. I mean, getting us flags, just being there, uh -huh. being like the 12th man up uh -huh. there. Yeah. I mean, they're just great, man. Yeah, yeah. And seeing all the cheerleaders and the crowd, they all stayed and they were just – they were talking. It was just a really neat moment where White County was there before the game, during the game, and they were there with you guys after the game. And uh, I know it was a long pack up to get on the bus, a lot of hugs, a lot of tears, and a lot of things, a lot of just different things said and uh, very special things uh, said. And uh, but I mean, an amazing season, nine and three. I mean, one of the. I mean, there would be there are thousands of, of teams. Every year that we'll never experience something like that. Mm -hmm. A nine and three season. I don't know how many points we scored. I don't even want to try to count how many yards we put up. I mean, just thousands, thousands of yards. But um, huge season. 
you represented us well. You know, I feel like I just feel blessed to have gotten the, you know, I, I told somebody last week, you know, it's been special for me to see this, but I can't nearly claim as much. I mean, there have been so many other people that have been there for you. Now, I'm just getting here on the tail end of this and watching the success part. Um, but all the people that have been there for years and uh, that have seen it not be that way, and then to watch you guys do that. I mean, I feel like sometimes God just uh, points a time and opens doors that no one man can shut and shuts doors that no one man can close, that no man can open. So, uh, but uh, it's a special moment. It's like a, a divine appointment. Uh, I'll tell you something, kind of a neat story too. I believe it was a, I don't, I don't remember the exact guy's name. I feel like he was a Coach Moore though, actually. Um, some guy named Moore. But Coach Frazier's old head coach was actually there last night. Gotcha, I didn't know that. Yeah, he, he came to see him uh, before the game, and he was, like, shaking his hand. But it just goes to show you, like, you know, years from now, you may not see your coaches. You may go a stretch where you don't see your coaches for 10 years, 20 years, but you guys become like our, our, like our kids. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know that if I had a kid, you know, one day coaching in a, uh, in a round like that, oh, I'm going to make the trip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make the trip. Um, but... Uh, What's it like to know you've got that kind of relationship and just that experience? You know, it's just really, I mean, it's great. Because Coach Frazier, I mean, he tells us that. Everybody does. that. We all know they're going to be there for us, you know, if we ever need anything. And it's really just, I mean, it's great to have a guy like that. And all of them are just amazing. Absolutely. You know, I saw saw a lot of love there. And, that there was a lot, and there was some hard coaching throughout the whole game. And, you know, just a special game, a special season. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, made a lot of people believers and stuff that, uh, hey, this can be done here. And uh, not that it was, you know, anything, not that, I think some people, they'll, they'll say things like, well, it was y'all's turn, or well, it was this, and well, it was that. But I think that sometimes negates, that. that's like saying that, well, every dog gets his day or everything. But I don't think that's the way it works. If you don't make the intentional choice mm -hmm. to uh, to do the things you do, you don't get to have that. I think what this season shows is not that, you know, it happens for everybody eventually. I think it shows it can happen for anybody if they do put that effort in. Mm -hmm. That it can happen. Right. Uh, if you're willing. Because the thing is, y'all had to make, from the stories I've heard all season long, and people talk in the community. Y'all had talent last year. You've had talent in the year, but at some point y'all had to make multiple decisions preseason, during the season. I mean, you know, I think there are probably moments in the preseason where things didn't go quite the way you wanted to the first preseason scrimmage. Yeah. And y'all had to make decisions like, look, guys, if we keep playing like this, there's no way. But we could do so much more. Right. Um, it took a lot of continuous daily decisions to earn the right to get to where y'all were. And I think that's what this season shows, that yes, if you choose to do what needs to be done, you can get here. And that's a beautiful example. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing to do. And uh, man, just what a season. What an amazing season. And it's been fun to watch you. And I know it's also you know, interesting too, Malachi has rushed for a lot of yards, but Part of the reason why I think he's gotten a rush for so many yards is, you know, if they all key on him, you're pulling and running. Uh, what's it been like for you? Was, what moment were you like, I just trust my dad and he's quarterback? <laughs> like, has that been so? Is that sunk in? Yet? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's all I've thought about it. I don't know if it's sunk all the way in yet, but um, yeah, it's a quality, I got it. And it was just. A crazy moment for me, you know, just yeah. thinking about that happening, especially from last year to this year. Right. And, you know, just me making that jump and, you know, doing it with my, my favorite people. So. Right. Well, there was an interesting story Coach, uh, Coach Baby was talking about. He said that uh, there was a moment where uh, Malachi last night went down and uh, he, he laid there for a minute. And he said, well, I got the players over there. And uh, I was like, okay, guys, let's uh, – Let's try to refocus, and you, he said that you were like, uh, so what play you guys want to run? And you're like, hey, coach, let's do this play, and let's go run it. And he's like, sounds good. Go for it. Um, you know.
What was that moment like of, okay, I don't know if Malachi's coming back. Take us through that play. Um, you know, Malachi went down and looked just a little banged up. and uh, But we didn't know that. No, we didn't, we didn't know. We weren't exactly sure. But, you know, you just always got to be prepared for the worst. But we knew he wasn't going to be in that next play. So I was just thinking, you know, if he's not going to be in there, then I want – I mean, I want the ball. Right. Yeah. He's going to be in there. So, you know, we just talk about it, talk about with everybody, and we get out there and we – Get it done. Get it done. I think we got like a four or five yard run. <laughs> I will tell you this much too. I told Malachi last night uh, at the locker room after the game. I will say a cool moment. I think you get like a four yard run. And, but I kid you not that, that uh, you do that. We're still doing our thing. And I swear to you, as much as uh, as much rap and country music was going on, I swear to you there for a brief moment there was like everything got quiet and there was this western song come on. Because when he walked back out there, it kind of like – I'm back, guys. Yeah. It was like, it was like, well, I don't know if we're going to win this game, but we'll fix the score. Because <laughs> he walked out there like, oh, no, I'm not done yet. So yeah. that, was, uh, that was a cool moment. That was a cool moment. But, uh, but again, the team probably had to – they probably were like, oh, no, Malachi. They all had to look to you. Mm-hmm. And how, what's that been like as a sophomore? Because there have been times where Malachi wasn't in during the game uh, this season. What's that been like as a sophomore to have the whole team look to you like that? You know, it's good. There's some good things and there's some bad things about that. You know, just – I just really just get out there and play football. Right. And I love it and I give it my all. And, you know, sometimes it's good enough, sometimes it's not. But just give it my all. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, these uh, – I do want to say one more thing about this. I didn't get them every single one of them on, but they're always welcome to come on the show throughout the year. Um, what the senior class? What's the senior class going to you guys? The senior class – I want to say it's one of the best to ever come through here. And, you know, they, they're just some athletes in every single sport in this 23 class. And, you know, I, like I said, I've played with those guys my whole life, and it's going to be sad to see them go. But they've really left their mark here at White County High School. Absolutely, absolutely. I think you got a good junior class ahead. You guys are going to have the leaders next year. And, uh, and a great freshman. All the classes and, of course, you're not coming up. I mean, there's some bright things for Warrior football. But, uh, you know, not everybody can do what y'all did, but y'all did. And y'all chose and made that decision uh, when it wasn't easy. And that's, I think, the difference that y'all made those choices to uh, to get better and to make some history. Oh, so, yeah. And why can't they football ain't going nowhere? That's right. We'll be right back next year. There you go. That sounds good. Now, um, let's see. You know, you had an amazing football season, but I think there's a different ball we're going to start to uh, bounce around here soon. Is that right? Yeah. Little, yeah. yeah. Start on Monday, man. Start on Monday. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So we got uh, Warrior and Warrior at basketball. And, of course, when I came here, like, uh, you know, of course, love football team, love all our sports, but it's like, you know, we've, uh, we've been a big basketball. We've had a great basketball. Yeah, definitely. So call everyone else thinks we're a basketball. Right, player. right. Well, and of course, the thing is, yeah, that's what's cool about that is when you, yes, outside of them will label a school. Well, they're a baseball school. They're a, they're a soccer school. Yeah. Or they're a football or basketball school. I think what we've proven here is that we're just a school. We, right. we play, we compete, whether it be baseball, archery, football, basketball. Uh, but, but I will say, you know, starting this week, y'all are a, High expectations, I'm sure, and, uh, and I'm sure you probably haven't even emotionally like flipped over yet. You're like, oh, not at all, <laughs> not at all. So, uh, but you know that is coming, and uh, big, big exciting. I think you, you play uh, point guard, right? So you a uh, little driving kid, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe a three point shot every once in a while. So uh, you like driving? Or, do you like driving or shooting? More? Oh, I'm definitely a driver. You're well, of course, of course, you're on the ball yeah. of the ball. I mean, you, you uh you play sometimes it looks like you play point guard on the field there so you're because you're either a giving it off to somebody else or b just taking it to the house yourself and that's got to be what basketball is you'll probably you're up top you're making a few moves somebody sets the screen you drive if you got a chance for a lead if not kick it out for a three and uh, so uh, that'll be exciting yeah actually the uh, the expositor is planning on streaming all the away games oh that's that's great yeah for yeah that's a little bit of a yeah. kind of a, I don't want to say it was an announcement, but we, we've been talking about that. So, Warrior Media will be covering all of our home games, uh-huh. which, like they always do. Right. But this year, we're going to be doing the expositor. So we'll be taking the maroon and gray on the road, we're going to be calling it. And uh, we're going to be going to all the away games. So, That's cool. So, a lot of the fans that 
may not have gotten to see y'all when y'all traveled so far off and different things like that. It'll always be an opportunity to uh, to do that. And I'll be I'll be commentating. Maybe may try to get a, a guest speaker to come on with me. Maybe it's not just me talking. So <laughs> I'll probably like, yeah, we'd love to have you talk less. But but uh, now nah, we'll be we'll be seeing you guys, and we'll be of course interviewing a lot of scenes and stuff. But we'll be we'll be seeing you on the court. It's All gonna right. be good. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, can't wait to get Coach uh, Coach Mitchell and Coach uh, Dodge on here, yeah. talk a little hoops action, and start getting all these seniors and uh, big year. What, what was the season like, like last year? I wasn't uh, last like, year. Um, I think we were twenty eight and eight. Twenty eight and eight. Okay, something like that. But um, we lost in the region uh, semifinal. Lost the region semifinals. So that means you were at least in the top four in the district and mm-hmm. advanced on. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge. Was it, did y'all were you on the district championship game? Uh, yeah, we won the district championship. Okay, actually. gotcha. We got upset in the region semifinals. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, were you? Did you play a lot your freshman year? Yeah, I started. Okay, you started. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So that's huge. Well, that's cool. I can't wait to get get, uh, get the scoop on all that. Yeah. We'll be talking about that in the next few weeks. So, trip. It's been a pleasure. Hey, it's been an honor. Yes, sir. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll have you. You'll be on in the future. <laughs> You'll be on in the future. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's trip Penny, guys. And again, an amazing football season. Um, absolutely historic. But just on a personal note, I would like to just say myself, it's just been a wonderful to come to this place and meet all of you and become a part of this place. And uh, what an amazing, you know, a lot of times, of course, I coach girls and Soccer, and I'll be actually coaching tennis in the spring here. We just made that announcement this week as well. But uh, you came in, and I've always loved football, always loved being involved. And, uh, you know, I talked to Coach Frazier in the summer, and he said, come on, we'd love to have you. And uh, just it has been an honor working uh, under his staff and, and with these guys, and I just feel blessed to have been a part of it. And uh, it's been amazing to watch the community come out. The band that cheers the crowd, and uh, it's just been a wonderful experience for me personally. So, on a personal note, just want to make sure I say that. But uh, either way, we'll head, we'll we'll uh, we'll switch gears this next week. We'll start looking at uh, basketball. I know bowling's got a big week this week. Archer's got a big week this week. We'll have uh, men's bowling or boys bowling on here uh, in the next couple of weeks, and uh, lots of big things happening as we start for the winter section of the uh, high school sports here. We'll also have the student of the month coming on here. We'll have the one thing better and uh, just different clubs. So uh, y'all stay tuned for all that. And again, we are looking at doing the Maroon Gray on the road for the away uh, basketball games as well this year. But uh, so much happening at White County. It's a wonderful time to be a warrior and a warriorette and, uh, and a great time to be a part of this, this county. So have a great weekend. Uh, be safe. God bless and go White County.